Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is archiving, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is one of two to explore the principles of ensuring digital longevity. Part of the Secure and Preserve Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program, it will cover media degradation, media and hardware obsolescence, and format and software obsolescence. Digital longevity is the notion of the length of time archived information can survive, an oft overlooked but critical issue that stems from the twin facts that digital storage media deteriorates relatively quickly and storage devices and file formats change nearly as fast. Ask anyone who recently has tried to pull information off a floppy disk or zip drive, and you'll know exactly what I mean, and you'll understand why digital information is widely considered to require more constant and ongoing attention than other media in this regard. Digital preservation is the business practice that addresses this need by actively managing digital information over time to ensure its accessibility. The constant input of effort, time, and money to handle rapid technological and organizational advance is considered a major stumbling block as the challenge is compounded by the multiplicity of complex factors hardware, software, operating system, drivers, media, firmware, and so forth that contribute to this problem. How ironic is it that we can still read written documents from several thousand years ago but digital information created in the 1990s is in serious danger of being lost? In fact, the digital storage media shown on this slide have already failed to remain readable for one one-hundredth as long as the Rosetta Stone, which is shown in the center. The thing is, the unique characteristics of digital manifestations that make it easy to create content and keep it up to date also present difficulties in its long-term preservation. Most people who think that digital information will last forever fail to realize how prone to degradation digital media actually is a fact of life that's caused the loss of many large bodies of digital information, including significant parts of the Viking Mars mission. In the analog world, our efforts to preserve a work focus on that work as an artifact, as a physical object. However, magnetic media deteriorates from the time it leaves the factory, and over time archivists had to abandon this perspective and instead take a conceptual leap from preserving the material object to preserving its informational content. Another part of the challenge is that digital media often becomes obsolete or unusable mere years after introduction, superseded by new media or new incompatible formats. The past few decades have witnessed the demise of numerous forms of digital storage, the five and a quarter inch floppy, the three and a half inch floppy, prompting the observation that digital information lasts forever, or five years, whichever comes first. Sometimes, the issue isn't hardware or medium related. Because digital documents must be viewed by using the appropriate software, they can be rendered useless when new and non-backwards compatible software is introduced. When this happens, a bewildering and ever-changing collection of incompatible document file formats must be translated back and forth, often with annoying losses of format, structure, and even content. Or else, a standard format must be settled upon like PDF in many cases, to keep this from happening. This module is one of two to explore the principles of ensuring digital longevity. In it, we reviewed media degradation, media and hardware obsolescence, and format and software obsolescence. If you haven't already, you may next wish to review the module that covers analog to digital conversion and refreshing migration and emulation. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, 
you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.